I'm G. Garvin, baby. And in the South, we do three things. We live, we love, and we eat. Fresh food fast with a very special guest. Bethany Frankel is in the house. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Urban Cuisine. My name is Marcus Samson. I'm Elizabeth Carmel. I've spent the last 15 years searching for the folks that make the best barbecue. Hey, I'm Michael Schwartz. Welcome to my local table. Hey, it's your girl AJ, and welcome to my comfy kitchen. Hi, I'm Jennifer Iserlo. I'm the skinny chef. I'm Charles Maddox, and I'm the poorest chef. This happens to be my personal favorite, our take on chicken and dumplings. Right here is a dumpling. It's just a great dish. I believe it might be an old black lady back there, though. Hey, Chef. Yes, sir. Where's she at? Where's who at? The old black lady. Oh, the... <laughs> man. Awesome. Thank you. My man. I'm told there's one thing that's a must when you head to Grange Kitchen and Bar, the fried pig head. It's getting rave reviews from locals and visitors Chef Brandon John is doing big things in Ann Arbor. His passion for fresh seasonal and local items is taking Grange Kitchen and Bar to a whole new level. Welcome to Ann Arbor and Grange Kitchen and Bar. We're gonna make the pig set. First, what we did is we made a brine, kosher salt, sugar, thyme, juniper, black pepper, bay leaf. Then we stuck a pig set in it, like this one we have here. This one's been in brine since yesterday. Poor fella. <laughs> That's right, I turned the burners off. Now what I'm gonna do is just fold it like this gets happy. So now, simply to finish this, we're gonna take some of this. Oh yeah, baby. A couple of shrimp. Emerald, it's been a really long time since a man cooked for me. Really? Yeah, this is very romantic. You should send him over for a few lessons. <gasps> How you doing? I'm Gage Cass from Bartender Wars on FLN. And I'm here today to show you my drink, the Heath Bar. This drink is very close to my heart. Ladies, you are going to love this drink. The reason why? It's smooth and it's creamy and it's delicious when it goes down. And guys, you're gonna like this drink, well basically because it's full of booze. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna add in all of this corn in here. Now that's texture. When you eat something that tastes different, it could be the same ingredient, but the texture of it is gonna make it completely different. Add in the cheese. You are a fantastic cook, look at that. Mm. I'm gonna add oh in. Oh my God. Everybody needs a little kitchen intervention. All right, let's start right here. Get rid of that. I'm Diane Hendricks. I'm a registered dietitian and a personal chef, and that makes me unique. Gone. There's a lot of snacks. That is getting out of hand. Kitchen Intervention is a show that forces people all across America. It's packed! To confront their bad food choices. So much bad stuff in here. And out of control eating habits. Hey, we're here in beautiful Ocoee, Florida. It's a fantastic day. We're at Lake Meadow Naturals. My jeans must taste good. They, they're, they're called chicken kisses. They're kisses, huh? It's a good thing I have pants on. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Whoa. See his tusk? You see those shoulders? As a child, there were a lot of Latin flavors, a lot of Italian flavors. We're Argentine and we're Jewish, so we've got a lot going on uh, in the flavors in the food that I grew up with. A lot of fresh vegetables were always on the table, huge salads. It's really what I crave are really big, delicious salads, tomato sauces, gnocchi was always on our table at least twice a month. So I guess you could say a little more gearing towards the Latin and Italian palate, definitely. That breaks the barbecue rule, right? That, that, breaks, low and slow? that breaks the barbecue rule off low and slow. But ever since I was knee high to a duck, that's the way we did it. Okay, so yeah. you heard it here. <laughs> Hot and fast. And I'm gonna prepare for you today my version of my grandma's chicken and dumplings, y'all. They're so good. I already have two cups of water in my pot, and I'm gonna bring that to a boil. I'm gonna add two more cups. And what we're gonna do is just bring this to a boil along with, I'm cheating y'all, four cups of chicken broth. This is how you're gonna get the flavor. It's all in your chicken broth and in your chicken bouillon cubes. Now I sound really country when I say that, bouillon cubes. So when Jim describes toasting, he really means cooking the rice with the mirepoix, which are the onion and celery, without adding liquid. And exactly. it's fine, and it might seem weird because your pot is dry, and you're looking at it and you're saying, I know I have to do something else, what's my next step? Take a deep breath, get a glass of Prosecco, and just, just keep staring. In the end, it's, it's food and it, it's something that 
that people should really connect with other people over and it's, it's something that should not be intimidating, it should be fun to do, you should be able to, to make it a personal expression of yourself when you do it. The G Garvin Culinary Boot Camp is a part of the One Bite at a Time Foundation, which we provide 30 kids with a seven day sleepover camp where they have all things culinary and hospitality. Out of uh, about 5,000 applications, Chef Garvin and the team went through each one of them and really uh, chose the kids who wanted to be here, whether or not they had culinary experience or not, or just needed, you know, um, some guidance on what they wanted to do in their future careers. We teach them food, recipe and development. We teach them um, entrepreneurship uh, within the industry of food and culinary arts. <music> The Foundation seeks to inspire, mentor, and enable all young people, especially those from disadvantaged circumstances, to realize their full potential as productive and creative individuals. The Foundation supports and encourages programs creating developmental and educational opportunities for children in the greater New Orleans area. 2010 was a significant year. The Emerald Legacy Foundation every summer has funded a collaborative uh, effort with United Way and we help over 4,000 children have some exciting summer enrichment activities. Ebony Magazine was proud to present the second annual Taste of Ebony, featuring leading African-American chefs, restaurant and food industry experts from across the country. Anheuser-Busch kept the party going with their creative cocktails and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Chrysler Sugar Lounge was jumping with decadent desserts, and the culinary shows brought the house down. <laughs> what a better way to showcase all the incredible African-American chefs across the country. I am so happy to be here at the first annual Harlem Eat Up. It's so important to the Harlem community because it, what it does is it gives the world a chance to see Harlem at its best. But now it lets the world know that we offer diversity, that we offer first class service and amazing food. Culinary Roundtable is bringing together the hottest chefs to create culinary inspired delicious new entrees. It's my style and I hope that you will really see and taste my style when you taste the new foods at Lean Cuisine. Check out the culinary collection and look for the Chef's Pick logo on our new chef inspired Lean Cuisine entrees. Hi, I'm Stu Leonard, and you won't believe where I'm standing now. This isn't Letterman's Top 10, this is Stu Leonard's Top 5. So Jerry's picked five great wines for your holiday table. Jerry, tell us about it. Well, I guess, you know, there wasn't a shortage of great wine to pick from. What we try to look at is something that would appeal, you know, great value, great tasting, and over-deliver in their price point. And that's why we came up with these five. <laughs> We're here at RFK Stadium this evening, home of DC United for a very special cross-Atlantic promotion with DC United's sister team, Sunderland AFC. And one of the great things about this partnership with Sunderland is the different arrangements that we can do. And we're excited to promote one called Fries for Pies. In Sunderland, they are going to experience cuisine from the United States and vice versa for tonight's match against the Red Bulls. Our fans are going to experience some great cuisine prepared by center plate. <laughs> 